Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the creative mode, very briefly, in which we are scouting the brand new patch, A Whole New World, which I believe is 0.7.5, or something similar to that anyway. Probably a correction now in the description. Either way, this update, as the name may suggest, focuses on changing how the game generates the world and adding new stuff in, similar to this biome, which I believe is called Pillars, or something like that. They did mention on their Twitter. Yes indeed, this biome is called Pillars, and I have no idea what these lovely things are floating into the sky. I have no idea what a lot of things are, honestly, but it looks amazing. I especially love what I believe are the resource zones. Look at that, these are all the little resource nodes, rather, the little resource rocks, and they look very, very cool. Then there are those little plants on the floor as well, so let's just spawn in our old, there we are, our old harvester, well, our old huge base, and let's have a quick look-see at destroying all these things. Do I get stuff? Yes, I do, so they are indeed resources, and could you please excuse me, little flyer? Okay, very interesting. So, are those lights coming off these plants, or are they coming off just from the ground? There was one there, let's have a quick look. Uh, could have been. Can't do anything with them. Oh, definitely are. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what their purpose are, but they are very pretty, and I like that. Okay, so let's go back into our main game. Don't worry, our save is absolutely fine. And here we are back in the main game. So today we have one simple goal and that goal is to build ourselves our very first flyer of the season. And this is going to be a venture flyer which uses the Hawkeye missile launcher. So hopefully it can be somewhat agile and able to do hit and run attacks, which honestly should just be a lot of fun. It probably won't be the main tech. The main tech will likely be a tank or something from Hawkeye in the future. But for today, I want to take to the skies. So, I need more wings, I think. Let's have a quick look-see. If we look at Venture, go to Flying. Yeah, we have two of those, three of those, then we want... Yeah, we need more of pretty much every wing type, so... One more check. So, let's add one more right. No, let's add two right, one left, at least one more middle, and then at least one more tail wing. Which shouldn't take too long, anyway. Well, that's cute. Good morning. Trading stations have restocked their blocks and missions. And yes, they have. Whoa, that's a lot of regular blocks. 100 of each. So that's only for the regular GSO blocks and apparently the tiny little wheels as well. Okay, then. That's interesting, question mark. Ooh, I do need two of those still, so thank you very much. And I will grab that as well. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit silly. We're going to very quickly go ahead and build a tiny little flyer just to see how good the missiles actually are when you are airborne. So don't worry, this is going to be quite a rushed build. This isn't going to be the final product by any means. I just want to fire missiles at things. That's all I want to do. I'm a very simple person with simple needs. There we are. That should be enough propulsion at least for now. Now here's the question, can I put one of those there? Oh, sadly I can't. Oh well, that doesn't make too much of a difference, since I was just going to do this anyway, if that didn't work. Uh, I could put this on the front instead. This is going to be for the wheels, but I think that should be reasonable enough. Really, I don't have any of the landing wheels left? Okay, let's make some landing wheels. Okay, the front section is now done, so I think I may end up just using something of this size as our final aircraft. I'm not too sure just yet. Either way, though, this is still the test craft. I just wanted it a little bit bigger so that we could add some additional missiles. Also, we now have the brackets, which are the best items ever. Three weapons on the bottom, two on the top, and there we are. I think that's going to be quite a fun placement, if not the best, because it really promotes us kind of dive-bombing the enemy, which may end up getting us killed, but that's completely reasonable, at least for me. So, how are we going to do the next part, and most importantly, 
Do we want a gyroscope? Because I think we do. I really do think we do. Although it will slow down our turning quite significantly, it will mean I will have more time to simply look around, I can be more relaxed, and hopefully get a few better tests with the missiles themselves in their own aerial perspective. So, the next thing is, I would love a radar. That is a rather large enemy off to the side, let's just ignore that. Apparently the difficulty is, has been increased, so we are going to see larger enemies a lot more frequently. Which is honestly kind of terrifying, considering we are next to a trade station, which does get attacked quite frequently anyway. So, kind of happy, because the difficulty has been... It's high enough that you do occasionally die, but it's not so high that you're worried too often. Now, it's going to be a matter of being scared for your life. Which is fun in video games. Just look at the Dark Souls franchise. There we are. Am I going a bit too far back here? I think I maybe am. Maybe this should go one forwards. Eh, for now, we'll just leave it. We'll just pretend it isn't anything. Actually, what we'll do, instead of what I was about to do... We'll put you there. You can be the Venture Wing, and then we want the Wing Expander right, Wing Expander left. Although, that does make that incredibly vulnerable. I'd like that to connect there. So, change of plan again. Just to make sure we have more connection points so whole sections don't simply break off during a fight. Not going to be the prettiest plane, but hopefully it will be functional. That's all we need today. Pure functionality. Okay, expander right goes there, expander left goes there again, believe it or not, on the left side, and we add ourselves a wheel. Do not like how that's turned out in the middle. Do not like that at all. It looks both incredibly frail and incredibly chunky at the same time. It's like, not what you would want at all. Excuse me there. No, you're making that right now, aren't you? Um, sure, we'll leave it as it is for now. But I will change it later. Okay, let's just see if this thing flies. Three, two, one, and we have liftoff! That is actually very stable. That is remarkably stable. Behold the power of a single gyroscope. But honestly, being this stable, that means that... Whoa, that's weird. Look at that weird texture there. That looks incredibly odd. Now, what I was going to say was that being this stable with only one gyroscope does mean that the plane itself, though, should also be incredibly stable all by its lonesome. And is that crate just a crate? Okay, then, so no trap. That's lovely. I mean, I, I can't really pick anything up, but let's just land. And anything of extreme interest? That's a megaton cannon. Okay, we're taking this home. Well done, Blaine. You've got me some loot. And look, there's an enemy. There you go. Well, we definitely damaged it. Now let's get home and put this in the storage. What on earth was firing at us? Was that little guy firing at us all the way up here? I didn't know guns could aim so high. Did we kill it or just badly hurt it? Just badly hurt it. Yeah, the damage of these missiles is still relatively low in comparison to the Hawkeye stuff, but the fact it's on a movable turret is just so darn good. And there we go, the first enemy I believe defeated by our plane. And we have a lovely cannon to show for it. This is stable. So stable it almost caused the game to crash. Is that an enemy or a rock formation? A rock formation, okay good. And let's land again. Oh, this thing is so easy to land. Okay, really happy with that. Behold the power of uh, venture. Everything being so light. Let's do some more missile tests, shall we? We need to kill another 25 techs anyway for Tech Hunter Mark VI. So that seems reasonable to me. Okay, here's a mission. We've got hostiles. Let's go and do that and see if we can complete a proper mission using this flyer. Come on, prototype flyer, I believe in you, and off we go, airborne once again. A few enemies on the way, I think I'm just going to let them fight each other. And bombs away! 
a lot of hits there. Wow, so many shots against us. Thankfully, none of them being able to actually land. Yep, I love the tracking of these missiles, although something is causing those little mini-freezes. I've actually restarted the game three times now and checked everything, so... Yeah, it could be the missiles, it could be the missiles in conjunction with flyers, since flyers normally are fairly laggy in this game. Anyway, I don't really know, but that is pretty awful, actually. <laughs> that is pretty bad. A little bit too low here, that could have made us take some damage. I guess we could consider those, those little freezes to be tiny little breaks, so that we can catch our breath and then try again. Okay, so confirming that missiles are great on flyers once again, especially these venture versions, but at the same time, also confirming that we need more of them, because we are not doing enough damage here, it's taking far too long to actually get a kill. And most of the shots are even landing, so it's not even a matter of the shots missing their target. Ooh, you have Megaton Cannons. I do not want to be hit by one of those. That will end up in our immediate demise, honestly. We are not a sturdy craft. We are a very annoying one, I admit, but that's about it. Can that Geocorp one just die, please? Well, we hit Geocorp and the little GSO one with those uh, Megaton Cannons. The problem is, with the camera angle as it is right now, if I try to turn, trying to focus on the floor is really difficult because the camera naturally fights you. So I'm trying my hardest to actually see the explosions, but it can be a bit difficult. Whoa, this lag though, that is immensely bad. Still though, loving this flyer, this is very, very fun, I have to say. It feels kind of mean since they're not really having a chance to fight back, but fun nonetheless. I wonder if we could fit one of the little mobile SCUs on this thing. It wouldn't be too difficult, they're not too heavy. That way, we could complete missions like this using the plane, and then simply swoop down and collect all the items. Okay, I do have to admit, although that didn't do all that much damage, that did look awesome, going so low before sending out the complete volley of missiles. Definitely need more though. What I'm considering doing is replacing one of the missiles on the bottom for one of the cruise missiles from Hawkeye. Oh, hello. So apparently a new person is now in the fight, which I believe is going to kill the guy we need to kill. So I'm very happy with that. Thank you for helping out, even if I am shooting missiles, apparently at you. Those are missiles of gratitude. I mean, the best way of saying thank you is in missile form. I think everyone can agree. Also, that was a volley of Megaton Cannons. Okay, so he may have killed the guy helping us. Maybe. And there we go. Finally, he is defeated. Yeah, we really, really need more firepower. Also, I think a helicopter would definitely be doing this job a lot better than a plane. It's just more fun to pilot a plane, really. Even if we are getting an immense amount of lag still, which is really irritating. As you can see here, those little freezes are driving me mad. There we are, we now have our lovely cruise missile, so let's see how that does. Uh, do we have any missions to go and kill things? Not yet. Well, how about now? Dead drop and incoming. Um, let's go with incoming, that's pretty darn close. Let's make that our main quest, and let's go off and see if we can finish off the kill X amount of techs mission. Okay, so apparently it was really, really close. And there goes our lovely cruise missile. So, let's have a look-see what we're going to be fighting. Now, thankfully, the tech is actually immortal, so all we have to do is stay in the... Well, in the nearby area and simply rain down hell in the form of missiles. I really do think, though, that a helicopter would do this job so much better. So I don't think a plane will be our final vehicle, but it's definitely something I will be keeping because it is just a lot of fun to use, honestly. 
A bit underwhelming in terms of damage, but the fun factor is just too high to leave it alone. There goes the cruise missile. Yeah, the cruise missile, so much more powerful than the venture missiles. But, as you just saw there, because you have to actually face the target to do any damage with it, it is a lot harder to use with the plane. Using the other missiles, I can just constantly fire as I'm circling around them. There we go. And once again, I have restarted the game several times. I have changed all of the graphic settings, but it still has these little micro-freezes. I really can't tell what's going on, but I will fix it before the next episode, or at least I'll try my darndest to do so. So hopefully this will be the last time we see it. What on earth is that? Is that a Dalek? Hello, Dalek. How are you doing, buddy? Yep, I think it is certainly meant to be. Okay, so the cruise missile so far has only hit a grand total of two times. We need to be way more careful with using it. There we go, cruise missile versus Dalek, and I believe the Dalek did lose. 26 more seconds, then this is over, so we just have to keep on surviving in this area. On the upside, the plane can clearly kill things much larger than it, since it can just keep on dodging everything. Maybe I should be a little bit higher up, giving the cruise missile a chance to, to actually turn. Little Venture. Ah, oh, hello. And goodbye, the cruise missile even went for it. Oh dear, our tech is no longer immortal, but thankfully they are fighting each other, so that's good as well. And now we just have to keep on weathering their shields away. Okay, that looked absolutely awesome yet again. Oh, little venture taking the cruise missile to the face, shooting it so far away and killing it. Oh, that was just unfortunate. Even with the cruise missile, this is taking a long time. Have missiles been somewhat nerfed or something? And hello there. And down goes that one from that last missile volley, and now, once again, just attacking shields. May take a while, if I can even be bothered, honestly. Please die faster. It would be the polite thing to do. After taking a cruise missile to the face, you're at least expected to die. No, I'm just gonna keep on fighting and living, are you? A couple of batteries, some lovely shields, and of course two of the SCUs, and we are now ready to go and finish off Tech Hunter number six, thus getting us a nice bit of reputation, there we go, and most importantly, a nice few items from Hawkeye. So let us go out and get some killing done against pretty much anyone we can find. That was a lot faster than expected. There we go, so now we are 56 out of 60. Hurrah for adding our cruise missile. The cruise missile really does add so much more damage. I still think the cruise missiles beat the venture missiles. The venture missiles are definitely more fun to use, but in terms of just sheer efficiency, yeah, the cruise missiles are actually kind of ridiculous. When they can hit the target, that is, because Lathrix is still a derp and getting used to using missiles on a plane rather than a helicopter. Naturally, I'm also leading this one towards my base because I'm just that much of a derp. Okay, now that was much better. Thankfully, the enemy has completely ran out of weapons, so that's why I'm not shifting over to my normal vehicle in order to simply kill this thing a bit quicker. Just getting in some more practice with the plane. Wow, all of that extra weight from the SCUs is really making turning hard. Yeah, far less agile than it used to be, at least. And there it goes, which means, oh, well, we can collect some of it at least. 
Lovely. Lots of loot for us. In fact, some of it is already being devoured by the base. Well done, base. You're having your meal. Now that is more what I was talking about. Absolutely lovely. One shot, one kill makes me very, very happy indeed. Let's see if we can find just two more enemies and then we have finished Tech Hunter 6. Which will be absolutely brilliant, hopefully getting us some really good items. Um, I just made a quick pit stop so that I could refuel my batteries using this mobile furnace generator. And it half anchored to the floor, but then stayed on my vehicle. So now we have this. That's uh, definitely interesting, but let's get rid of that. I'll try to redo that in the future, just out of curiosity. Also, these mountains are looking particularly mountainous. Does this mean that if we go far enough away, the new generation of the world actually kicks in. Does it work on old save files? I'm really hoping it does. I didn't see that in the patch notes, but maybe it was there and I just skim read it. Hello, invasion. Will you be my final kill? That would be lovely. There we are, and let's see if we can dodge most of those. Seems like we did. A couple of hits on the shield, but nothing else. And my god, look at how many guns he has. Also, what on earth is up with that other robot? Um, hello there, fellow tech. What on earth is going on with you? And thank you for the well-needed distraction. Ignore the fact I'm hurting you. Once again, my missiles seem to really not understand the whole concept of don't shoot those who are helping you. At least the little micro-freezes seems to have simply gone away. Maybe it's something to do with my base, then, since now I'm very far away from it. And once again, one more volley. Ooh, a fair few blocks actually fell off that time. Yeah, the cruise missile makes all the difference with this, and I am considering changing those two missiles for just more cruise missiles. Which is a shame, honestly, since I do really like these missiles. The word missiles is now sounding really weird, by the way. Well, the invader is dead, but now there's plenty of other big craft around us. So here is the chest. Okay, yeah, actually a few things I really wanted there. Very nice indeed. What's that? Actually, what is that? I have no... Oh, it's the laser targeting. Is that actually working yet? It's been in the game for a while, but non-functional. Maybe it is working, maybe it's not, who knows. And a brown cube. Lovely, a flesh tone block, just what I've always wanted. So with that, I'm afraid I am actually all out of time for today's episode. So if you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you would like to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we will be making our final flyer, and slash or possibly our final ground vehicle, spending much more time making something which looks a lot more attractive and perhaps is a bit more functional. So, with all of that, thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye.